New generative AI in Photoshop, thanks to Adobe Firefly, allowed me to easily and realistically change the background of my client's photo so she didn't need a reshoot or extend the background on this photo that I took during my travels so that I could post it as a vertical Instagram Reel thumbnail, all with generative fill. Before, this would have taken hours, cost a fortune to hire someone to do it, or it simply wasn't possible. Now, I talk a lot about AI, but I have genuinely never been this excited about it. Stay with me. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. Today, I'm very enthusiastically trying out the new Generative Fill feature in Photoshop Beta, powered by Adobe Firefly. Generative Fill allows users to quickly extend images and add or remove objects. And I'll show you examples of both in action. Let's take a look. Now, just before we get busy uh, showing you this feature, I wanna make an important distinction. This is available in Photoshop Beta. I'll be honest, I didn't even know that there was a separate app for this. So I learned this when investigating, trying to figure out where I could start to play around with this feature. So on my computer right now, I have installed Photoshop and Photoshop Beta. You're going to know it's the right one because it's this white badge. So with Creative Cloud, you'll open this up. Obviously, I'm on a Mac, uh, but essentially you will navigate to the Apps tab and click here, Beta Apps. Okay, they actually didn't know this. They have beta apps for many of the flagship Adobe uh, Creative Cloud apps, including Photoshop. So that's the one that you're you're gonna need for today's demo. Now, for the record, I am no Photoshop expert. I own a branding agency and I'm completely self-taught in the program. And maybe that's what I love the most about this exciting feature. You don't need necessarily to be an expert to use it. And I'll show you the first example, close up using my client, Carrie. So what I'm gonna do for this quick tutorial to show you this in action is use the magnetic lasso tool. And I will quickly trace around Carrie And there we have traced. I will quickly duplicate this. So now that I have isolated this layer, I can use generative fill and here will be descriptive. White brick background with texture. And let's click generate and see what options we get. There in just a few seconds, it's giving us some variations and I'm actually loving these. I think that's a little bit too white, but again, this is just getting started here. I can duplicate this layer and here, let's actually try a version without a prompt and see what it generates naturally. There we go. So in this instance, I have not specified the prompt, but it's giving me again some great options and I can continue to brainstorm here even by looking at examples to get ideas on what I might want. A background with some greenery. Let's try that. So I'm not loving the options with greener, but I actually love this final texture. This is really super cool. Again, in this quick demo to show you that now Photoshop has incorporated generative AI thanks to Firefly. That literally saved us from a reshoot. Carrie is thrilled. That means I am also thrilled. The next example will demonstrate how to use generative AI to extend an image. This is so helpful. I'm traveling right now in Iceland and you'll see how I use this for my photo. So in this next example, I have a photo here that is cropped perfectly if I was gonna post it on the feed. So 1080 by 1350 on Instagram. But what I actually wanna do is I wanna extend the top and bottom to be able to post it as a real thumbnail. Okay, so that's gonna be 1920 tall. I'm a little short top and bottom. So we're going to use generative AI to fill in this space. And let's see how it does. I will use this selector tool to grab that top area. Now in Photoshop beta, I can choose generative fill to see what it comes up with. So let's select that. I'm going to leave the prompt empty in this case, because I think there's nothing really I can say um, that's going to give a better result than what it looks at and determines automatically. So let's click generate without a prompt and see what happens. Wow, awesome. I absolutely love how this is looking and it's incredible how well it matched it. You would never know that that was generated with AI. So now that we've got the top, let's do the bottom. We'll do exactly the same thing. I'll select this bottom area on the right layer. There we go. And I'll select generative fill and I'll leave the prompt empty. And there we go. The black sand here in Iceland looks absolutely awesome. Again, you would never know that that was generated with AI. I'm so incredibly impressed with this brand new feature. I'm almost giddy. I'm so excited. 
So that's generative AI, specifically generative fill in Photoshop. Many people are talking about this in the creative community. And since I've already found major benefits from using it myself, these new features, I thought that I'd share some examples as well. Again, by no means am I an expert in Photoshop. More often, you'll find me here talking about Adobe Express on this channel and even on Adobe's channels. I certainly plan to explore how you can use Photoshop, Express, libraries, and now Firefly all together to fuel your creative projects even if you aren't an expert. By the way, there are so many cool features for you to try out in Adobe Firefly, which was a closed beta, but at the time of recording this video, it is now open, so you can go check it out for yourself. Text to image, generative fill, text effects, generative recolor, and they're exploring and adding new features often. Firefly is also special for creators because it puts creators first. So if authenticity or attribution is something that you're concerned about, and rightfully so, read about the Content Authenticity Initiative by Adobe, which launched more than three years ago and now has over 800 members, including many of the brands that I've partnered with on this YouTube channel. Their goal is to increase trust and transparency online, putting creators first. I'll link to this article in the description below. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. Respond to those personally. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm sharing a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. Those are coming up next.